all right we're gonna do a what's in the bag 2021 um so let's jump right into it first the bag same old bag hickory golf workshop it's doing well um i have no complaints over this one like i said the first one in the first video was uh zippers were messed up but they replaced it and made it good um for this year uh and most of last year i switched to uh Spalding's Crow Flight Sweet Spot Irons. They got the nice little sweet spot there. Um, but there's a full matching set. I got the one, the two, the three, the four, the five, the six, and the 17. I got the 19, but I don't use it because I use this, the Stuart Maiden uh, Louisville Golf Niblick, um, which a lot of people use. And then, it took me a while, but I finally found the putter that I like. Um, it's a, uh, as you can see, it's a George Nickel Gym. Uh, I really like it. Uh, and then down to the woods, uh, we got a different driver. The driver we had in the last video uh, went south, uh, couldn't hit it. Uh, I don't know what brand this is it's uh the face is kind of deteriorating um but most of the time i hit it well and then the brassy is the same brassy still the spalding uh spalding registered autograph uh brassy which is held up well and then all the way down to the balls my preference in balls are going to be max fly soft fly and the Wilson Duo Soft. Uh, I like both of those balls, 35 compression and 28 compression, I believe. And then down to the T, I make my own. They're just tall enough that you get them in and you, that you don't have to put them way down in the ground. I take three inch T's, cut them off, sharpen the end, and then shellac them. Makes them look nice. And then I got my little fancy head covers. Got the one on that one, and then this one I use. I don't have anything on it, and that's got the brassy. But there you go. What's in the bag? Twenty twenty one.